Hello everyone, I am Mr. Game Guy Color, followed up by some amazing cash race, and welcome to the finale of Let's Play Playthrough, whatever the hell this is, Eve! <laughs> Today we're going to be showing off the true Cartenity exhibit. I'll be showing off every last bit of the, every little thing you can find in here, all the completed paintings, all the characters, uh, everything they had to say, and all the names and all the, all the wonderful things ever. Alright, without further ado, let's get started! <laughs> You can tell I'm very enthusiastic and play, but whatever! I've missed this game! Let's go play! Alright, now, you're, if you saw my playthrough, you already know what this guy says, though, but whatever, let's just go check it out. But before we go check out, let's go put it in a nice song. Let's see, what's a good song to put in? Hmm... Oh, I know what we can put in. How about Dungeon 3? Yeah. Yeah, Dungeon 3! Alright, let's go! Ah, uh, we'll be showing off all the completed things. Here we got the geometrical fish. I think that's how you pronounce it, but whatever. Thief, red lad, creepy lady who has the thing, blue lad, thief. Let's go check out everything. <laughs> Enough with the booming voice. Let's just check out everything. A painting of a ladybug. A painting of a bee. A painting of a butterfly. A painting of a spider. A painting of an ant. Last chapter. Okay. But I won't, I won't go end of it to go over though, but anyway, yeah, how are you guys been doing? I've been doing great, it's just... Honestly, even though this is a finale, it, it's been so good to finally get to play this game again and finally get to finish this up. And, oh, by the way, look, the ants here. My painting is cool, you see? My painting is cool, yes, I noticed that. But yes, it's so nice to finally be able to play this game again. Oh, and finally be able to check out all these things that would up. <laughs> Make sure to set to that part out, though. <laughs> But yes, be, just being able to play this game again and finally finish it up, uh, it's just... Back in October when I finally played this game, though, when I finally started off this playthrough, though, I just thought this was just going to be a simple game, though, you know, a nice way to be able to try something new and do something else, though, but I never knew it was gonna, I was going to be doing, like, literally almost 20 videos on just this one indie horror game. Beat, heartbeat. <laughs> I love this. Anyway, I never thought I would be doing this many videos on it, though. It's just crazy, though, and just the fact that we get to... I just get to... Ch I just I just get to, um... <clears throat> play play a game, though, and you just get to... You guys just get to experience how I how I am, though. Like, literally, though, without hiding behind text through videos that aren't mine. It's just been nice. Heart wounds. Breath. And then we have Soul Sappy Thong. Now... I guess I should explain, though, that in order to get this painting, you remember this painting we got when we first entered the red area, the one with the creepy, eerie music? The thing what you do, though, is that by the is that by the breath painting, what you do is that you go on the right side, and it's not very visible, but there's a small shadow in there. You just basically hug the wall until you find a, a, a hidden area which you can pass through. You go through there, and then you go up for there, and then you'll be able to pass through and read this. Soul Sappy Thong. So, anybody who's confused on how to get this painting, that's how you read it. But anyway... But anyway, though, it's just been so nice being able to play this game. It's actually, it's unfortunately, we'll, we'll talk to Mary later, though. But anyway, but anyway, it's just, it's kind of a shame, though, that I have to, that we're coming to the end, though, this game, though, since, like I said, I've really enjoyed this game. This has been a fantastic game. Oh, let me to go outside. I'm playing with a controller, as you see. Grieving by his left hand, grieving by his right hand. But yes, it, like I said, it's a little ashamed to, to be ending this off, though, since, if you couldn't tell, though, I've really... Just had so much fun with this game. It's it's been an interesting experience. Let's put it straight though. A painting of a girl. But that's all I really have to say for now though. And up here's all the creepy faces. We all pretty much know what those look like in all the mannequin heads. But yeah, just all the all, just all the great all the great all the great craziness memory all the great memories. <laughs> what little memories there were of playing this game though. Part and custody and. Devotion to Custody. I guess I should just explain, though, how to get Devotion of Custody. On certain playthroughs, this is completely random, but the, this Devotion of Custody painting, though, will sometimes replace the Heart and Custody, so if you're trying to go for a completion gallery, though, then just replay this, pick a separate step file, save file, though, and just continue come, coming to this area to see who gets it. So anyway, that's how you get it. Unbalanced Box. Oh, you. <laughs> Thankfully, he does not ask for our rose. But hey, it doesn't look like we have a rose, because we can't enter... <laughs> Thing is, we can't enter the menu or ask to shut off the game. So, well, here we go to the, come on, wine sofa. A giant wine thing classified with red cushion in it. I, like I said, that is pretty creative. Melon colony. But thankfully in this area, we won't get it because it feels like, 
a painting of eight, dro eight drops. And here are the real eye drops. Because it feels like we're like in an alternate. I'm not exactly sure if this is canon or not, though, to the story, but whatever. But this thing's a, tro a tree sculpture that vaguely resembles a person. <laughs> Untitled. Hi, Mom! Hi, Dad! How you doing? But anyway, what I was gonna say was, though, is that this seems more like just like an alternate universe, though, where, like, all the all the characters are here, though, where the painting world has just come to reality. That's what it just seems like to me, though. It just seems like an alternate universe where this, all this exists. And you know what? It's kind of common, because anybody who saw all the endings along with me, though, knows, so... That <laughs> yes, you will start to hallucinate, but this isn't, you know what, milk puzzle. But anyway, yeah, anybody who saw the endings with me though will notice though that there, while there is multiple happy endings in the game though, there isn't a happy ending where everybody is happy. And in some ways this is, might sound a little crazy, but I kind of like to think of this true Gratetta is exhibit as just a happy ending for everyone, because everybody is here. Everybody is here, doesn't look like anything is bugging them, red eyes. <laughs> and hey, you get to see both versions of it. But it doesn't look like anything is bothering them, though. Everybody seems to be happy, all the paintings are here, and it seems like nothing can go wrong. Well, my Scrutina, but then again, he's dead. Oh, hi, Mary, how you doing? Beeb! Look at all these doors! Th these doors are... they're so pretty. Yep, we'll be talking to Mary after we get done with the painting thing. Like, this whole room pretty much just has all the paintings from the fabricated world. Lone key horror. Lady without her umbrella. Do we never get to see the lady without her umbrella? What a strange thing. Actually, wait. Oh, with her pride. For a second, I thought I misread it. Fisherman, who who's connected to the, to the painting book. Clown, we never see his nose. Tattletale, who broke everything. <laughs> Whatever. Bashful glaze. Oh, oh, in order to get this one though, this one actually took a while. Basically, you just exhibit the. You basically just exhibit this thing. Like, should we cross? Whether or not though. Because this thing, though, you end up passing for the pit, you just observe it, though, think whether or not it's good to cross. So, anybody who might be confused, aspiration. Illusion. The mannequin hand who was possibly stabbed, but we have no idea why he was stabbed. <laughs> but whatever, I don't really have that much to talk about. So that's basically the big gallery, and then we have... Smells like tea. <laughs> and then we have the bonus gallery. Yes, there's no um, there's no room for the, for the sketchbook world, but we do have the ones for all the... Gallery likes things. Painting of a shark. Painting of tea. A painting of an anthill. <laughs> My life is true form. Pursued to wine. I guess I should also mention, though, that I'm not going to read some of these, though, but hard to wake me. <laughs> but I guess I should mention, though, is that even if you read the painting, I'm not sure if it's just a glitch, if it's just a glitch, if it's just a glitch on the game's part, though, but there will be cases where even if you do a certain playthrough and you do read a certain painting, and you know what the... And you know what the, you know what the text is. There will be cases where, so, where sometimes the painting will not appear. <laughs> Overfilled night. Small bit of There will be cases where the painting will not appear in will not appear in the true Gutenberg exhibit. So if it doesn't appear, you do check it. Don't no worries. Just play through the game again. Though you might be able to get it. And here we and here we get up to finally the <laughs> to honestly the best gallery and the, the best dungeon in the game. Flexible stone. Sorry, I said there's death. And if you guys saw my other video, you may have see, already seen small remnants of that, though. But anyway, yeah, if you get what I mean, though, you just... And uh, it seems like I'm talking fast because it is. And here we get Gartena, the small, the small <laughs> exhibit of what it seemed like. Seemed, <laughs> for what we know he looks like. But anyway, wow, wow, color. But anyway, yeah, if there's cases, though, where you like, like this painting, for example. If it seems like this painting it has not showed up at all and you know you look at, it may just be a minor glitch in the system. So just look at it on multiple playthroughs and you still can't get it to view, then oh well. You're not missing that much. It's not like you get anything for completing the gallery. You really do not get anything for 100%ing it. And what the hell not? Let's go jump in here. I'll say this right. No. <laughs> I already jumped in it, but whatever. I'll say it right. Blue Skidoo, we can move! Yep. <laughs> so anyway, so yeah, that's basically when. Oh, and, by, and also, by the way, final stage. In, in the black room, it automatically cuts off the music for suspense. Here we have Forgotten Portrait and Mary. I gotta say, this is definitely the darkest, <laughs> literally the darkest and figurative room in the entire in the entire exhibit. Oh well. Anyway, guys, I'll I'm just gonna cut the video off right here, though. So, guess for one bandy camera is such a douchebag that limiting my time to only 10 minutes per recording session. But anyway, I'm gonna cut off the video and I'll return to you in just a few seconds. All right, see ya. All right, and we're back. All right, let's let's do that. <laughs> We're back to this thing again. We're back to the gallery, and now let's go check on if we go down here, we can visit all the paintings that were in the real gallery. Beast Isolation. Horizontal View. Clasp of 
Antipa, Antipa, whatever the hell that was. A well-meaning, wait, a well-meaning hell? I never noticed it was well-meaning hell. Serpent spirit. Even though I don't see a serpent anywhere, I don't know, maybe if you look close enough, you'll see it. The sky seen from a hill. <laughs> I remember that random quote, clip from my playthrough. Selfless guard. Oh, excuse me. Couple at Tower. The Hanged Man. This painting has so much meaning to it, but so little. <laughs> this controller's screw up. Mistaped Diamond. The Lady in Red. Also, just a small note, there's no Lady in Blue, Lady in Green, or Ye Lady in Yellow painting, so... If, he, if they don't appear in any, any of the galleries, though, then that's why. It's because you can't read them in the gray area. Still life on table. Even though, strange you don't see the Lady in Blue one in the black area, but whatever. Worry. A coughing man, which I never did show, but in cases where you end up in, in the fabricated world, but you're still in the main gallery, not the black gallery, like the grayed out, darker version of the alley, sometimes the coughing man will cough. The lady taking a newspaper. And next we have... Abyss of the Deep, a world where man will never stand to realize the world. But I have decided I will engrave him with this canvas. Then again, we, we came to a world where all your crazy matters came, Gratina. Who the hell were you? <laughs> Death of an individual. Two columns known as twinkling of crystals and stars, I still do not get what that means. Reverse seat, I know this seat is in the gray area, but it looks different. Its sprite looks different. Fusion, still ah uh, and at uh, and uh. Orliness, still have no idea what that means. Taste cleansing tree, again, looks delicious. Ebonment of spirit, explains the roses. <laughs> Enlightenment, your dark figure. <laughs> Specument of Century's End and Bitter Fruit. Nope, there's no fabricated world painting. Neither versions of it. Anyway, guys, I'll end up, I'll just end up cutting. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. I'm just gonna cut off the world. I'll just show you all the dialogue everyone has to say. Alright, hold on in just a second. Oh, Gary! How you doing? Gratina really created a lot of stuff. I wonder if you ever got tired of the constant creations. Say, there was that white ant in the gallery, yes? White ants usually don't eat candy, but, well, they don't normally speak either. Also, just a small thing, the white ant does not appear in the gallery. I'll never know what artists are thinking. A lot of all balls, don't you think? I guess they see the world differently from others. Indeed. Gratina, oh, blah, okay. I'm gonna just go through all the dialogue I can get through, get out of Gary. Gratina's living works. Well, I have many bad memories with them, some of them didn't help out. I guess thinking about it that way, things are so different between humans and living art. Gary, that's freaking crazy. What the hell are you talking about? Hey, don't go away from me! I'll never know what- oh, damn it. <laughs> that was crazy, Gary. What are you talking about? Oh! Stop it! Eve? Are you eating right? You look pretty skinny. Make sure you eat lots of nutritious foods. Yes, like that loving candy I gave you. What if I simplify that of a smoker? <laughs> yes, I read that theory. Gratina's living- oh, damn it. I kind of wish, though, that the characters would... I kind of wish that the characters, though, would end up giving you, um... That rather than just having the dialogue be generated randomly, they would actually, like, literally give out a set of dialogue. Then they would go randomly. Like a string of dialogue. Eve, those words you know, you, you didn't know, I taught you them, right? I'm sure you still remember them by now, so you, did, so you shouldn't need me to read those titles on these. That's indeed, Gary. I would usually make some smart-ass... Smart <laughs> make a smart-ass... Remark, but at the same time, that's true. Eve did remember everything. How do you usually pass the time, Eve? Playing with your friends? Then again, aside from Gary or Mary, we never do get to see Eve. Eve's outside friends. Sorry about that. You should play a lot while you're still young. Yeah, and, and spend more time rather than just sitting here recording in the internet. <laughs> hey, don't go away from me! Okay, let's see. I never knew the blah, blah. Okay, is there any more dialogue? Blah. I'm pretty sure there's like one more line of dialogue. Come on. Is there any more dialogue? If not, I'll just cut to the next one, which is going to be our wonderful, 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 wonderful friend. Okay, he doesn't say anything else. Alright, I'll see you in just a second. Hey, Barry, my wonderful friend, how you doing? You're sitting over here in the fabricated world. Why do those new personality statues have heads? Did they leave them somewhere? I wanted to draw heads on them, but there's nowhere to draw. Aww. Eve. Your hair's so silky. Why is it mine like that? Genetics, Barry. Not to mention you're a freaking painting. And Gary is all soft. Is everyone different? Indeed. Oh yeah, I met someone who didn't have hair once, so I drew it with crayon. 
that was fun. I'll show you sometime. I think we already saw it when we burned you, but yep. <laughs> All I have are crayons, but I want to be an oil painter someday. Just like my dad. I know she doesn't say it, but who the hell cares? When do you... <laughs> what? what do you want to be when you grow up, Eve? Me? I want to be a princess, or a painter, or... How do you pronounce that? A confessionist? Yeah, I think it's confessionist. Or a jewel shop, or maybe. Or a princess painter confessionist who owns a jewel shop. There are lots more, but I forgot. <laughs> Anybody who gets that reference? Well, you n you clearly watch some good shows. <laughs> it's a SpongeBob reference, whatever. I wonder where Dad is. He's dead, like you. All I have is c okay. I'm trying to get all the dialogue out of her. Blah 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 blah. blah. Come on, Eve. Look at all these doors. They're all pretty. They're they're all. Yes, Mary, they are doors, and yes, they are pretty. I have to agree with you on that one. It's so boring how only adults come to art galleries. Why don't kids? There's so much fun stuff here. Well, mainly because kids nowadays are so spoiled with anything that's pretty much operating with a battery. Literally, anything that has to be operated with a, ba with a battery that gets a kid's attention, right? What do you want to be? Okay, yes, 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 you want to be a confessionist. I know she says something else, though. Come on. I wonder where Dad is. He's the wonderful world of your world. <laughs> Whatever the hell that is. Does Mary say anything else? I think I could have swore she said something else. I wonder where Dad is. I wonder where Dad is. Blah 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 blah. Is there anything else? No, nope, she just. Oh, <laughs> your hair is so silky. <laughs> well, if you want a random fact, though, my hair is also silky. So there you go. <laughs> Okay, I think I got all the dialogue of her. Anyway, that's all the things you say. The characters over here, though, don't really do anything. You just you just sit here and talk to them, and... I don't know, this is just maybe just me being a little selfish, or just wanting a little more out of this game, because it is it is a pretty amazing game. But I wish you could talk to the characters, and you could ask, Oh, Eve, what do you want to do? You could And you, and you could just choose to play as them, or something like that. <laughs> it's like, oh, you want me to take control? Alright, let's see. <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll see you in just a second as I'm most beginning to talk with the parents. Alright, see you in just a moment. Hello, Mother. How you doing? Sitting out in these things. I gotta stop saying how you doing. <laughs> Eve, did you see the jewelry on display? They have all kinds of gems. They're even some really good arts. They're all red, like your eyes, Eve. Hmm, your father? Oh, yes. I guess he would be a sapphire, I suppose. <laughs> yes, he would. Your tennis works are, are quite eerie, but they somehow captivate me. I never get tired of it. Yes, I adore Gretenna. I even adore him more than your father. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with me? Oh, no! Do you have a favorite piece, Eve? I personally quite like the sofa. It's like the one we have at home. Hee hee hee. Well, I would sure your father would object. <laughs> I always kind of one. I always wonder what kind of person Gertena was when I look at his works. Eve, but I okay. I know the mother says more. <laughs> but then again, it makes sense why the mother doesn't say that much, though, because you know we hardly know her since we only see her in the beginning. Come on, I know you say something else. Shut up with all the stuff you gotta say. Do you have a favorite? Oh, okay, now. Blah, 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 blah. Come on, come on, you say something else. Come on! <laughs> Damn it, mother, stop being a- stop being repetitive. Stop being a broken record. Ah, so that's how that song ends. I never actually heard the thing- oh, okay, here it goes. It seems there are many more pretend pieces yet to be seen. Sigh, if only I- if only I could, I would love to see them all. Lady, after what we've been through, I don't think you want to see them all. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you in just a sec for Eve's father, and then and that will conclude the end of Eve. Alright, hold on. And here we go with our wonderful, wonderful father, who I swear to god is still freaking creepy. I mean, just look at his face. <laughs> Not to mention look at his neck, and look look at all those veins. I have to say, Abstract of, of Abyss of the Deep is probably the most impressive of a lot. Looking at it, it makes you <laughs> looking at it makes me feel like I, I really want to fall into painting. Oh, trust me, Dad, you do not want to, with you and your veiny neck. Oh, Eve, how is Gretenic's exhibit? So many paintings, it's almost like an idea to look at them all. Your father may not know a lot about art, but I think I can know that Gretenic was one amazing guy. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's all the lines he says. I think he's the only one. Yep, that's all the stuff he says. Okay, hold on a second, I, got, I just gotta cut it out, and I'll finally end off the episode. Alright, hold on just a second. <sighs> Alright, guys. Now, all I gotta say is I this marks as the this marks the end of Eve. 
And all I gotta say is I hope you all enjoy playing through this game. This will be the last video I will be doing it, as shown by the title of the finale of Eve. I gotta say is I've had a lot of fun playing this game. Honestly, this game was amazing. It was so nice to be able to do something else, and just being able to play for the game multiple times, being able to play for the games multiple times, so just you would experience the amazing story, all the uh, wonderful and amazing characters though, and surprisingly the thing about this game is that it reminds me of Up, it doesn't ha have many characters at all, yet they're all likable and, and it runs the story pretty well, which is <laughs> a little strange, but yeah, it kind of does remind me of the movie Up. <laughs> but yeah, but, but yeah, so uh, I'm just, at this point I'll just have to mark the series at an end. It was really fun playing this guys, and I'm going to be honest, this is going to hurt you. This is going to hurt me more than you, though, because I really do not want the series to end. Oh, if it were up to me, I would like to continue going on, though, but the thing is, there really is no point of playing EVE anymore. I pretty much, I have 100% of the game, though. As shown, though, I played, <coughs> oh, excuse me, I played for the main game and beaten it. I played for New Game Plus and beaten it. I've showed, I've seen all the endings. I've completed the true Gantana Galaxy. I know it's everything. I know what all the paintings say, though. I've gotten all the characters inside it, though. I've pretty much seen every every little knick-knack that's in the game. Well, not every little knick-knack in the game, though, but if you honestly want me to show you all the little knick-knacks that are in the game, well, the thing is, I'll never will show the game, because, fr quite frankly, I'm kind of tired of playing this game, because even though I like playing this game, i played through it, like, over ten times, so there are a few little things I've missed, though, like, and all they are is just a small different changes of dialogue. But honestly, if you want to see those, by all means, just play the game yourself by this point, because I have a link in the description, you can go download it yourself, and while some people might see see watching this entire playthrough as kind of defeating the purpose of playing the whole game, since you'll know exactly what to do, it's just a really it's just a really enjoyable game to play. And while I and while I did see one small clip of this game before, it did not ruin the experience at all. Playing for the game, it's been it's been amazing and all I gotta say is though is that if there's any if there's any more if there's another E game out there or another game made by the guy who made this game, uh, Coralize, Coralize, that's something, whoever, whatever, however you pronounce he or she's name, if this if this person made any more made another E game or made another game in general, I will gladly play. Just please tell me about it if there is if there is a game out there and. You know, it was just very nice. It was just very nice being able just to play something a little different for once. Now, to be warned, this now to be warned though, this will not be. This will thankfully not be the last. This will be my last E video in general, and probably my last playthrough video of the year. And jeez, this, this this video was overdone. I should have finished this back in November. I will. Anyway, the point is, I will still I will still like to do another Let's Play though. And the good thing is, it will be uh, on a another RPG horror. I have one RPG horror. I have, I have one RPG horror in mind that I would like to play through sometime next year, and I got another one though. But the thing is, but the thing is though, I can possibly keyword being possibly, I could possibly might be able to get someone else with me to along to play with it though. It's not a co-op game, as far as I know though. Like it, like as far as I know, is again, it's just a single player game. But then again, I don't, I don't understand how you can make these games co-op or whatever. But the thing is, I could possibly get a friend to play it with me. But if I can't, then oh well. I still got another game I would love to play through. But all I gotta say is, it's just been great playing it through, though. For all the, for honest to God, all the two people who are watching these videos, it was just nice being able to do something different for once. And I appre I appreciate though again the two people who watched it and enjoy. It. I'm very happy. If any, if any future comers see this and enjoy this, I, I'm, I'm happy if this was any help to you though, and just by all means, and by, and by all means though, just feel free to leave anything though. And if I did miss, and if I did miss something though, then oh well, because <laughs> because unfortunately I won't be, I won't be doing a video again because again this is the finale. But I'll just stop acting like a broken record or the other characters, and I'm just gonna end it off right here. So. I'm Mr. Gabe Guy Color, and all I gotta say is have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next year. Bye bye! Or should I say, next day? Ooh! That could be taken either way. Anyway, see you guys!